on this week's segment of beautiful little things. This plant was all droopy when we got here. Put some extra compost in the top and since it has sprouted in the last two weeks this huge long flower which has just opened. Reach more to sun. Look at that. It's beauty. Bit slippy is it? Polish neighbour Christoph just dropped off this. Scott's eaten half already. It's like a homemade flatbread with curried artichokes. Looks delicious. So I'm gonna make some banana bread for the neighbours. Went to the shop to get some ingredients. Couldn't quite get things that we get in England so I don't know how they're gonna turn out. But it's a thought that counts I suppose. Whenever there's food on the go, Bella's not far away. And you're not. Alright, after I've done all the hard work. Who's doing the hard work, I'm Bella? Putting, putting Who? Oh yeah, I do all the hard work and you lick the bow. <laughs> Sounds about right. Looking pretty good. Chocolate and walnut banana cake. Last night Marlon made us the traditional orange cake. So we're having leftovers for breakfast. Oh. Give that. It's healthy. <laughs> Athletes. <laughs> Having a banana though. So, get away with it. Coffee and cake for breakfast. You're not far away, are you? Living the good life. Hello, everyone. We are just about to head into Salerico to have a look around with our Portuguese family. <laughs> <laughs> And we got some good news from them earlier today that our residency, mm -hmm. what is it called? Residency certificate? Residency permit, the residency permit for this accommodation right here has been accepted. What I did want to say was they had to vouch for us, so they advised that they had to get their identities photocopied to send off, send off with our passports that had also been photocopied and they had to actually sign. So. I think that could be the process. We will look into that. We're gonna put out a specific video on this that will follow the D7C, D7C? D7 residency visa. And I'll link that here uh, for anybody who's trying to do that process and try and coach everybody through it. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna head in and hopefully these black clouds don't catch us. It's looking a little ominous today. Oh, there you go. Now it's in focus. But it's bright over there, which is the direction of Rico. So, let's see. Nice outfit choice.
it. Get it. Ah, you can't destroy that one, can you, mate? Indestructible. Bella basically just demolishes any toy that she gets hold of. So we got her an indestructible. Can't do nothing with that, can you? Get it. Get it. So just going to be heading off for the first time in the van with the dog, see what she's like. That was uh, first holiday. <laughs> visiting, where are we going? Uh, Pignon. 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 And uh, Lamego. Lamego. Uh, being told that this is very beautiful up near the Douro Valley. And we're going to check out some neighbouring villages around there and see what the area is like. We'll give the van a quick wash yesterday, packed up our stuff, and we're away down the road. Almost forgot to mention. <laughs> we got our residency permit! <laughs> yesterday, hand delivered by the president of the Junta of Barasal. Um, he was a bit standoffish, should we say, in the first appointment, but he was very jovial yesterday, and I think that was probably because we were vouched for by the neighbours and um, got them to thank for that. So now we just need our medical registration and I'll be compiling all of that process into a video following the D7 residency application in, in the English side and onwards from there to our appointment in August. Just jumped in there by yourself, didn't you? Just didn't want to miss out. She's good in the van, but we'll see what she's like sleeping because we've only got a little bit of floor space. Let's go. So we just pulled up for a quick stop. First time we have seen the Douro in land. Last time was in Portugal. In Portugal? In Porto, 2019. And you can tell why. Call the Douro Valley, the wine region. Anywhere you drive a look, there's just hills and hills of grapevines. Pretty spectacular, even on an overcast day like the day. Oh, down here is Pignon, where we're heading. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's a way. So just pulled up Pinhao, that's the village along there. I've already seen some more tourists cross this bridge over the Douro River here, which is absolutely stunning. Every bit of land just about utilised for grapevines. Go and have a look around. Your mate. Hello there. First drink out in the Douro. Local wine. Is it? Mm. I don't know where from though. 
because she was busy and didn't want to speak. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? That's nice. I was going to get some wine, but it's very warm today, even though it's overcast. Not the best view without a van in the way, but behind the there, there, the river is there, and that is some of the wine fields right there. Off to Lamego to see what that's all around, all around, all about. Jen's birthday tomorrow, we're doing it in style. I'm going to treat you to a pastel de nata. Because I'm a gentleman. <laughs> and I haven't bought you anything else. <laughs> Porto de Vino. So, just landed in Lamego. A nice little park up here for the night in this park. Bella's happy with her bone. Just had some tomato, buffalo mozzarella. Finishing with some of the freshest Sarajas cherries for the neighbours, which are divine. The wine isn't bad around here either, is it? It was delicious. Jen's birthday tomorrow. Got some big plans. <laughs> Don't know where we're going to be, but we're going to view first farm tomorrow. See what that has to offer. So this is apparently the most famous thing to do in Lamego and these are just the s a portion of the steps leading up to this church I think it's going to be a beautiful wow it's so beautiful it's impressive There's the church from the square. Got to be 10 flights of steps up at the top there with beautiful traditional tiles. <laughs> Look at that stonework on the doorway. Absolute work of art. Join a drink here in Lamengo. Lamengo? Lamego. Jen has took it upon herself to try all various sizes of pastel de natas. Look at how cute this one is. So, first night in the van, Bella. She's got a bed there. She decided that that is the perfect amount of space. Lion. She just wants to be close to us. Yeah. Little pig. She's <laughs> exhausted. She loves the van life. It's tight. It's a tight little road. It's bringing back memories being stuck on a hairpin then with three wheels on the ground. Oh. In France. Little, little shot. Birthday. With a tower in the background. Birthday, <laughs> Birthday breakfast at 20 past one. Oh, we've had a busy morning. <laughs> Who decided to do exercise on the birthday? Huh?
boom. Look at that view. That rocks. <laughs> Shows your best cowbell. Yeah. <laughs> Decent view. The mountains aren't bad either. Birthday cowgirl. Let's go and see what this heart's all about. So just in Visu, 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 Visu. For my birthday. Jen's birthday. Is that grey hair? I can see. <laughs> Going out for a easy squeezy lemon easy Japanese. Going out for some food. Yeah. Some drinks. And some wine from the Duro where we've just meandered along in the van. Very beautiful. Highly recommend heading back to Cortegada tomorrow for the procession. Birthday meal. How was it? Delicious. Feeding Bella shrimp's heads and sirloin steak leftovers. She's gone from. Anyone would think it was her birthday? <laughs> <laughs> She's gone from classy to sassy. Let me get you the steak. Okay, go on. Bella. Nice. Sirloin. One bite and swallow. <laughs> so we'll just come back off our night out and this is the new tactics to delay the break-ins. Delay the break-ins? Stop the break-ins. Leave the dog ball so they think an absolute vicious, vicious warrior is in there. Look at her. She's a killer. She's so vicious. She's a killer. She's so vicious. She's a beast. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna protect the van, aren't you? Standard Kinder Bueno purchase on the ice cream ice cream front. How was it? It's good. I've had better Kinder Bueno, I think. Mm, same. Good. Ice cream.